Hi guys, this is Mark the Measel. A uh, short video on the markets to share that I really do have a hard time uh, the way the markets are going. Um, Bitcoin continues to go up and is now at 5,800 US dollars. And um, total market cap is around 185 billion. Um, and yeah, so many people are bullish, it's unbelievable. Um, There are some bears, eh? there are some bears, I mean, from the celebrities, eh? uh, the crypto celebrities, um, but um, it's quite rare and uh, yeah, uh, it's hard because, well, I'm only 33% exposed to crypto and that's way too little for uh, my taste. Um, if we start the bull market already, then well, I really failed to um, go to a majority exposure, huh? uh, and um, yeah, uh, I refuse to uh, market buy, um, and so that that does mean that the price can run away, um, and uh, and that's life. Huh? Uh, but uh, uh, yeah. Um, it's smart to approach it from, yeah, uh, I think um, just in general to correct mistakes when uh, when you have an opportunity and not um, when when um, when uh, when you realize you made a mistake, you shouldn't be correcting it immediately in the markets because emotions run so high um, and 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 typically when the market goes up your emotions will um, will dictate to buy and when the market goes down your emotions will dictate to sell and that's also the moment when you analyze and work hard because you're wrong uh, uh, and the market goes not your way and so you study a lot and then often you you discover you did make a mistake um, and that's been the case for me too uh, during this run up um, I did a lot of studying and uh, I realized well that I did make a mistake uh, by selling going to a minority share um, uh, uh, I was a majority share crypto but I went to a minority share when it uh, pumped uh, when Bitcoin pumped from 4,000 to 5,000 and Bitcoin cash pumped from 150 to 300 dollars um, I went to a minority share again and after I realized I was wrong huh? but now I have to be able to get back in and that's not a given that's not certain so um, but I do think that the odds are high that even if we start the bull market that we do get a correction uh, to about 4200 level of Bitcoin many people say that these days is such a cliche huh? uh, like bulls bulls or bears everybody agrees we're gonna get uh, a correction here <clears throat> Uh, sooner or later because Bitcoin went up from 3200 basically <clears throat> straight to the current 5800 uh, there were breaks it started slow but there was no major s correction anywhere <clears throat> it went to 5700 then corrected to 5000 uh, in one two days with the Bitmax uh, uh, Bitfinex and Tether <coughs> scandal or panic but um, but it's back up at 5800 two days later so uh, uh, there has not been a major correction during this indeed now five month long uh, rise uh, and so everybody's predicting that's gonna come but um, there's a big difference in opinion between um, well many people think the bottom is in and even Owen Wonder who just po posted a chart yesterday uh, updated chart but not much has changed uh, we're still at 30% undervaluation compared to the trend line <clears throat> but he also said that uh, he thinks that uh, the sentiment has, has changed and, and he thinks the bottom is in as well as so many others do um, but um, but I really don't think uh, the odds are there yet uh, for the bottom to be in um, so but, but I do think I agree with everyone else that odds are high we do will get a correction sooner or later 
uh, uh, that will bring us back to uh, test the bottom but test the bottom does not mean a double bottom it means going to like 20 30 percent higher than what the bottom was huh? the bottom was 3100 so at 20 30 percent and uh, you're about at 4000 uh, where, where 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 you have to pull back to even if you're in a bull market and so that's what um, uh, <clears throat> is likely to happen and that's also where I set my buy orders to go back to a majority exposure. Um, uh, but I think that when that happens, which is likely to happen, um, uh, for me that means Bitcoin cash around $200, $180, uh, I'm, pu I'm putting up uh, and I'm planning to go from, currently I'm 33% crypto but if it drops to that price I will be probably only like 20 or 25% crypto. And I plan to raise to 70% crypto, so a big investment there. Um, um, but um, but I do think personally that uh, when we're there, it will not be a testing of the bottom, but it will continue to go down uh, in rapid pace or slowly, but continue to go down, and we will see a new bottom. I think that's the most likely, uh, and 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 the bulls will turn uh, bears again. Uh, and, uh, and and then we'll stay bare for a long time and I think we will see a bottom uh, that's not that much deeper uh, uh, I think it will be only 2800 uh, US dollars for Bitcoin 2700 um, uh, Ethereum I think will make a new low to $60 but Bitcoin Cash will only do a double bottom uh, because of the special situation when it made the bottom together with Bitcoin a uh, half a year back it had also split up and, and, and it, it dropped more than, than it should have due to the split with uh, Bitcoin SV but um, but that's over now and some value has come back so I think uh, Bitcoin Cash will be an exception and will make only a double bottom uh, that means that uh, will it hit $75 again maybe maybe not but that's the, the area so most likely set it at $100 I think that's what I'm planning to do to set my buy my last buy and so uh, uh, if we continue to drop um, to a new low uh, we will be at an undervaluation of minus 70 percent um, uh, and um, and then I plan to go from 70 percent crypto exposure to 80 percent crypto exposure and we, if we hit an undervaluation of 80 percent uh, I do think that's the maximum we can expect in this bear market and I'm very surprised that Awen Wonder for example does not pick up on that uh, on the pattern that we have a con higher and higher undervaluation I mean if, if he thinks the trend has changed uh, the sentiment has changed and the bottom is in then while well, he thinks that uh, the, the historical pattern of higher and higher undervaluation will not will not continue in the future uh, I, I think that's risky uh, to bet on, um, but but why do I go to such a big exposure of 70% even if we're only hitting like 4200 for Bitcoin and only hitting like 200 for Bitcoin Cash or 180? Well, because actually in the long term uh, these are very very good prices and I cannot r risk to be left behind. Uh, if the bull market has started, there is a small chance for that to happen. But if it happens, then, um, then well, I missed out on a great opportunity. And so, even if we see a new, new low uh, of um, uh, for Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, even if we see a new low for uh, Bitcoin Cash at $50, buying at $200 is still a great move in the long term. Okay, it will feel bad if you go to $50, that's hard, but... It's just that it's, it is a great buy um, for the long term. The same for Bitcoin. Uh, if you buy it at 4000 and it drops to 2700 it's still a great buy. Uh, uh, so, that's it. I don't have anything else to add. Um, We are getting close to, to the point where I, I, I'm gonna have to admit that something is wrong with my analysis. Eh? Like, 
Uh, I expect the bottom to happen in the middle of 2019. And well, we're almost there. And, and if you do the exact calculations, it's not exactly the middle, but it should be June. And that's only like three weeks or so. Huh? So we're getting very close to the point where we should find a new bottom. We should find the bottom. And um, of course, that can be one month off, two months off. So, I mean, I'm not gonna uh, uh, say in June that I'm wrong if it doesn't happen, but June, July, August, if the summer has passed and we haven't seen a new bottom and uh, we start uh, September, I'll probably admit that, uh, well, <coughs> I was wrong and uh, I will change my strategy. Um, but uh, up until then, uh, I'm gonna aim for, um, yeah, uh, yeah to, to continue to have cash um, on the sidelines to invest if we see a new bottom. Um, and even um, if we see a new bottom but we don't reach 80% undervaluation I plan to keep cash on the sideline um, uh, because I will only invest 80% not 90% I will only invest 90% if we do reach that 80% undervaluation uh, compared to the trend line of Trollolo um, and as you may have noticed I don't plan to invest 100% any time uh, um, I plan to invest only 90% and I do keep 10% uh, not investing crypto uh, because um, yeah it makes sense a lot of rational sense to um, never go full retard uh, 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 I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the remaining uh, 10% um, ideally I find another good investment but Practically, that's just not realistic. It, it just requires way too much time and time. I don't want to invest uh, to find another great investment and follow up. I don't want to do uh, so. I, I think it means for me that I will just buy some pleasant toys uh, and, um, and or maybe real estate, uh, something that I will enjoy and where the value stays in. Of course, certain toys. <laughs> Uh, like a Lambo uh, does not keep its value at all eh? but it's something that you can always liquidate um, uh, and um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna solve it that way uh, so do in buy some assets but assets that give me joy then don't require um, time um, and, uh, and assets that can be liquidated um, I think that that's what I'm gonna do Thanks for watching. I'm wishing you all a great day now that the sun has come up. <laughs>